I'm directing uh, The List by Jennifer Tremblay, uh, translated by Shelley Tupperman. And it is about a woman who inadvertently has caused the death of her friend by neglecting uh, a request for a favor that her friend asks. And so it unfolds into uh, not so much, you learn very quickly uh, that her friend has died, but it's really the telling of the tale, the unraveling uh, and her own confrontation of what has gone down. This is a story of a woman who's an urbanite who's uh, moved to a rural landscape. Her husband still commutes into the city. So she's a very, uh, she has a very urban sensibility. She's very sophisticated. And she lives in a, a, you know, a world of making lists, a very congested lifestyle, which I think is the thing, the universal thing that we all relate to, especially in an urban environment. But that kind of snake pit of a to-do list that we're constantly trying to uh, get out of uh, and keep up with, and that that congested world, that congested lifestyle that we all lead, uh, that she has this wake-up call within it, uh, that somewhere on her to-do list she missed uh, that vital human connection with a person. She, she ranked it as uh, not urgent. Um, and it's, so it's a wake-up call, I think, to all of us. It is a brilliant, uh, succinct... It, it, at first it seems very brief as a text. It, you, you read it and you think, wow, it's, it's, it's actually a small piece, but then it, is, uh, it reverberates uh, with your psyche uh, for days. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm most excited by the fact that it's uh, the, the beauty. It is an incredibly beautiful text. Uh, and it's lush and poetic, and that it exists in, um, like so much uh, Quebec theater, it exists in, uh, in, a, in a very theatrical landscape. It, it offers huge theatricality in terms of its potential staging, um, which I think you know, is, a, is a huge question for us as theater goers. You know, why go to theater? Couldn't I just watch that on TV? I mean, often I see that kind of work on TV. Uh, that I see on the stage that is, it's, you know, well-made narrative, uh, but it's not really pushing any boundaries. And the world of the list is so overtly theatrical, and uh, it, it forces us to, to bring that kind of uh, aesthetic to the stage. Uh, you know, Jennifer Tremblay calls it the theater of the unconscious, that we are not just, uh, you know, we may enter into this woman's kitchen, but that the that symbolism plays a huge uh, part in this play. Uh, that and, and I love that uh, as a director. I love the opportunity to to navigate a world uh, in the unconscious telling uh, what happens, you know, what happens to a person when they're dealing with a huge amount of grief, which she is. Uh, but also, you know, she also tells it in a very funny way. Um, but how, how uh, uh, real things, real objects in a room uh, can be thrown into the air and reinterpreted in a, in a very symbolic way. Uh, so that excites me a lot in terms of approaching this script.